Hello again everyone, Truck CB Sales here with a performance report on something new today. I'm trying to get over COVID, still tested positive, my voice is coming back some. Thought we'd throw this on the bench before we go back and rest for a little more. Uh, Mountaintop Electronics has sent this down here to us to review. I uh, have to say I'm very pleased uh, with the work. Um, I've known Greg up there for a little while. I'm real good friends with a couple of his real good friends and he does a really good job with these. Uh, he's uh, not, he's not in the uh, social media spotlight, which is a okay and probably <laughs> probably a good thing. But uh, we're looking to carry some of these AC amplifiers plug in the wall. This unit's a 110 unit. This is actually uh, one of the smaller ones he builds. Um, it features one GI7B tube. Uh, the GI6B will also work for it as well. And if you were to hop on eBay. I'm going to do that right now and tell you one of the perks about this amplifier is you can buy two of these tubes for $50, $60, $70, okay? I mean, the price of them are stupid cheap. Now, the downside. The labor involved in building a small amp like this is just as much time as building a console unit 36, 3000 that does you know 10 kW plus so you end up over a dollar a watt range when you deal with the smaller ones that's just the way it is um, but this unit here um, it has got a three minute timer on it you flip the switch on you can flip it up in AM or standby wherever this light will not come on for three minutes and about 20 seconds and then you'll be able to key okay uh, the tune and load I've already tuned and loaded it out it ends up about 12 o'clock on both of them if you're way off over here, you've got a problem. You've got a problem with your jumpers. You've got something way out of tune or something like that. Uh, I like the way Greg does clock them like that. Um, it's got a 300 milliamp continuous transformer in it, which is plenty for this amplifier. Um, we rate it to take uh, 80 watts of PEP swing and up to 15 watts dead key in. I'll be using the Striker 447 HPC2 today with just my basic tune. Um, and we did roll the voltage at 13.6 so we have exactly 80 watts of PEP and 14 watts carrier okay um, so we're going to show you what this thing is doing the fan is really quiet in it for an AC box we got the 500 watt slug here an average of 1000 peak we're going to show you the 500 watt slug so we're keying about 140 hello doing 350 bird average, okay? Hello. That's a little over, about 365, 370. 1,000 watt slug and peak. Hello. 750 PEP. All right. I mean, if you see over 750 or 800, you're probably driving it too hard. No thrills, frills, no meters on these. These are just a simple unit to operate. It's got a the input tune on it is fixed, and uh, show you again. Hello. There's my input tune, 1.1. Can't beat that. Um, so it's so easy, even a caveman could do it. Um, these units will sell for $1,000 plus shipping. And as I said before, yes, that is over a dollar watt. That's just what you're going to face when you deal with a sm small amp. <laughs> Anyways, um, this will be an amazing driver for a 3CX3000 or something similar to that. So, something you want to think about. I'm going to go ahead and turn this unit off. Unplug it here. Of course, it bleeds off very quickly. But I want to just kind of show you the inside of it on the top side. Don't show the bottom side. You know, a lot of your amp builders have got uh, their own little way of doing things. But uh, there we go, right there. Um, the tube is shipped separately with the sleeve. And you simply just push it down in there and then push the sleeve down until it's flush. Uh, you just Then you clip this right on the top. And just make sure nothing's touching and you're good to go. It's about as simple as you can get, guys. So I'll have these on the website soon. Um, and let me pull up one more thing here. 
If you want to go to the website, his website is mountaintopelectronics.com. Neat little website. He's got a few things listed on there for sale you can take a look at. All right, fellas, I hope you enjoyed this video from your friend truck at truckcbsales.com. Bum bum.